iPad Pro 10.5 unboxing and first impressions coming up right now. Let's go. So what is up guys, Nick here helping you to master your technology and welcome to the iPad Pro 10.5 inch unboxings and first impressions video. So I did pick up the silver version as you can see here, iPad Pro, but the top the Apple logo over to the right side would be iPad Pro again. You can see 64 gigabyte edition, so this is the base model Wi-Fi, this is the $649 entry price point. Now that's a little bit steep if you ask me, but this is gonna be actually a very powerful tablet here, so it might be a little bit justified in the fact that you get more storage than last year's iPad Pro 9.7. Open this baby up and see what we get inside the box. I'm gonna go ahead and tear the sides of this off, and you can see pretty much standard Apple affair, very well packaged. We do have our saran wrap around it. Let's go ahead and rip this open. I wanna break the box up, so you can see right there. And let's go ahead and lift this casing up. So it is pretty tight here in typical Apple fashion. And here we go. And here we should reveal ourselves the 10.5 inch Apple iPad Pro here. And you can see again, very nicely packaged here. You can see that true tone flash, that camera bump that sticks out just a little bit there on the new 10.5 inch, putting that off to the side. We will reveal ourselves some Apple pamphlets as we always see in pretty much every Apple product. I'm sure we're getting some stickers here. It's gonna show you how to use the Apple iPad Pro, like we need to see that. Let's go down here. You can see Apple stickers right there coming with this guy. And that looks about it inside the box. Now you can get this guy in the LTE model as well. They do come in capacities all the way up to 512 gigabytes and I'm having a little trouble picking up it's so thin over here you do have another lightning cable and annoyingly a 12 watt power adapter I think Apple could have gave us something a little bit bigger than this to charge this guy it's still gonna charge pretty slow when most Android devices are giving fast charging capability so I think they did skimp a little bit on that but hey we'll take it most people are probably going to charge this overnight anyway all right guys so let's go ahead and remove the plastic here a once in a lifetime of a product thing you don't really get to do this that often and we can see the iPad right here the 12 or the 10.5 inch iPad so I do have an iPad 9.7 next to it so you can kind of get a difference in the look here if you haven't been and seen them in stores you can see the re the bezels have been reduced here on the 10.5 inch iPad I'm powered up here and you can see there it goes the bezels have definitely been reduced here over the 9.7 Pro here. Now both of these tablets do bring Apple support for Pencil. Pencil is sold separately for the 10.5 inch which is going to add to the cost of the already $649 starting price. Also the smart keyboard is sold separately and if you want the bigger fast charger that Apple sells, it's, it's labeled like 24 watt or something like that. It's a fast charger for your tablet. That's going to run you another 80 bucks or so. So you can really bring this thing all the way up to about a thousand bucks after taxes if you do get all the accessories that do go with it. So let's go ahead and get into this iPad now. You can see the new iPad 10.5 as well as the 10.9 bring the True Tone display standard in this Pro Edition. All right guys, so it does say welcome to iPad and let's get into this guy right now. And the big feature here is the new ProMotion display which is 120 hertz refresh rate which is supposed to be faster than that of the older tablet. I seen a little bit of lag there on its first fresh boot so I'm not liking that but I'm pretty sure that was just because it's the first time I've ever booted it up and it needs to warm up a little bit. So here is the iPad Pro 9.7. I'm gonna bring this guy in here on, you know, just to show the differences, if you could see it on camera. I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see this on camera, but if you see right here, just the speed and fluidity of scrolling, it's, see, it's really hard to see behind camera, but in real life, this thing right here is just incredibly smoother than the iPad Pro 9.7. But it's only going to be noticeable just like when we do speed tests on this channel when you put it side by side with another iPad. Alright guys, so in terms of iOS, this is iOS 10.3.2, so this is basically what we've been running on all of our iPads lately, and what's really crippling this iPad right now is the fact that it doesn't have iOS 11. I think that's what we're all waiting to see, but you can see right here, we do have an available storage of 54 
6.9 gigabytes out of 64 capacity actually 60 so definitely not getting the full 64 gigs here we make this questionable is that enough space for a full computer it might be for some definitely not for me but i picked this up for a review unit here but the apple pencil is supposed to give you better latency especially when you're drawing in notes so essentially when you're doing artistry stuff or you're just using the tablet you can see hey there this is just super accurate how are you guys today this is so accurate and it feels a lot better than the other ipad that i have over there the 9.7 how are you guys today let's go okay so you can see also when you're drawing things it's definitely even more responsive so the latency factor on this is just incredible on this new iPad. So if you do care a lot about Apple Pencil and how that works, you're going to love this new iPad. The new addition to the 10.5 inch iPad Pro is the extended keyboard. It's more of a full size keyboard here now on the iPad. Still not exactly full size. It's not like an actual keyboard, but definitely for touch typists, it is a little bit wider. So it's going to be a bit better. Now on the 12.9 inch, you're going to get more number rows and things on the side, kind of like what Apple does with the 7 Plus, and it's going to be a little bit better than this one. But overall, definitely a little bit better than the iPad Pro 9.7. I'm actually going to showcase that to you right now. As you can see right there, there is the Pro 9.7. You can see it's just a little bit less wide than this keyboard right here. So this is going to be better for a touch type. As you can see, your hand would hit the return button here on the pinky if you aren't careful here for the 9.7. So definitely an update here on the 10.5 and its keyboard factor. Another thing about this new iPad Pro 10.5 is that it does give you a huge brightness count. So you go all the way up to 600 nits on here. This is a P3 display in this new iPad right here. And the design is pretty much unchanged from the iPad Pro of last year. It's not that much different besides the fact that it's wider and taller. But if you showed these two tablets, you pretty much wouldn't know the difference in design. They're about the same. Now, in terms of the cameras, just like last year when iPad brought out the 6S cameras in their setup this year apple brings the iphone 7 setup in these ipads so these ipads are going to have basically 12 megapixel eyesight cameras to shoot in at 4k on the back and on the front 7 megapixels with true tone flash quad led true tone flash right there on the back of this ipad we do keep the four speakers here for the ipad pro 10.5 inch right here and this could transfer up to USB 3 speeds on the lightning port now so definitely a nice update there as well kind of future proof if you ask me what are some other things about this new iPad that you should take into account well Apple claims 10 hours of battery life on this one an A10X CPU which is basically the fastest CPU in any iOS device right now this also does have the ability to edit in 4k pretty effortlessly and it's a super sharp display for doing all of that now one thing they don't add about this is that even though you can edit in 4k you pretty much gotta do all your recording on the tablet itself unless you want to do some cloud storage transferring which is just going to be a pain in the ass if you ask me to do some 4k video editing but we're going to go ahead and run a geekbench before i wrap up this unboxings and first impressions but so far my impressions are pretty solid i'm not super impressed over the ipad pro 9.7 meaning that if you already have a 9.7 i'm not sure if this is worth the upgrade just yet i'm gonna have to test this a little bit further but i'm not super excited over the differences it feels like a, a, a not a, a revolutionary change more of an evolutionary change meaning that it's just some refinements and things like that here for the ipad pro 10.5 but when this geekbench is over i'm gonna show you these monster scores Four gigabytes of RAM on this guy's standard, so that's pretty good for a tablet. Definitely making the argument a little bit more, you know, should you replace your PC with this, a little bit more valid with four gigs of RAM standard. All right, guys, so you see we score a 3869 in the single core score for this iPad, as well as 9140 in the multi-core score here. These are monster scores for a tablet. This is pushing MacBook territory. This actually benches higher than my Core i5 7200U KB Lake CPU laptop with 16 gigs of RAM and that's pretty pretty impressive for an iPad here. So that argument about the power is actually getting close, but I think it's more the software that makes us question is an iPad able to replace a PC. But overall, my first impressions of this tablet are, this is probably the best tablet money can buy right now if you're looking for the true tablet experience. I think Apple has to do a little bit more work if it comes to replacing a PC. And I think Microsoft's Surface line is still the better option for a two-in-one tablet slash PC option. But that might change here with iOS 11 
later this year and that remains to be seen but what would you guys like to see on this ipad pro going forward i am going to pit it against the ipad pro in a versus comparison video would you like to see it against the ipad 2017 would you like to see speed tests a full review let me know that down below in the comment section of this video did you pick one of these up let's chat about that hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed this video nick here helping you to master your technology i will catch you all in the next episode be sure to be well and peace